April 6th, The Collision of God and Sin Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. 1 Peter 2.24 The cross of Jesus is the revelation of God's judgment on sin. Never tolerate the idea of martyrdom about the cross of Jesus Christ. The cross was a superb triumph in which the foundations of hell were shaken. There was nothing more certain in time or eternity than what Jesus Christ did on the cross. He switched the whole of the human race back into a right relationship with God. He made redemption on the basis of human life, that is, he made a way for every son of man to get into communion with God. The cross did not happen to Jesus. He came on purpose for it. He is the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. The whole meaning of the incarnation is the cross. Beware of separating God manifest in the flesh from the Son becoming sin. The incarnation was for the purpose of redemption. God became incarnate for the purpose of putting away sin, not for the purpose of self-realization. The cross is the center of time and of eternity, the answer to the enigmas of both. The cross is not the cross of a man, but the cross of a God. And the cross of God can never be realized in human experience. The cross is the exhibition of the nature of God, the gateway whereby any individual of the human race can enter into union with God. When we get to the cross, we do not go through it. We abide in the life to which the cross is the gateway. The center of salvation is the cross of Jesus, and the reason it is so easy to obtain salvation is because it cost God so much. The cross is the point where God and sinful man merge with a crash, and the way to life is opened, but the crash is on the heart of God.